In this example of Space Claim, we'll take a look at how the tool can help you create a tool for a sinker EDM part. Uh, all these surfaces represent the surfaces of a part that need to be machined, and particularly there are four narrow slots, much too small for an end mill to fit in, so an EDM is necessary. So in order to create the EDM tool, as a starting point, I select all the faces that represent just one of those slots. Uh, the, the other three are done the same way, so I'm just going to show how to do one of them. I use a Windows shortcut to copy and paste all those surfaces to a brand new document. And I think it's a little easier just to work in a new document sometimes. The next step would be to, to merge all those together or uh, stitch all the surfaces into one. Alright, from here, uh, it's really quite simple to do. I need to uh, solidify this turn it in, uh, create a little bit of an offset on the inside and also extend the outside walls out a little bit. So taking one edge and copying and pasting that to the clipboard, um, this edge is going to be a starting point for what I use to create the outside of it. Now uh, with that curve selected I may elect to offset that by a certain amount. We'll call it uh, just a quarter of an inch for now. And so the curve on the outside is what I care about. The one on the inside I do not. So I can go ahead and click on that and just delete it. Again, that's going to form the basis for the outside of my part. So in theory, I ought to be able to take all those curves and pull on them and create an outside surface. Now what you notice is that the surface is very noisy. There's a lot of extra surfaces on there. I don't want that. So with those selected, Space Claim gives me the ability to fit curves and, and essentially simplify that curve representation. Now, when I use the pull tool and select that and pull on it, I end up with five smooth, clean surfaces. Now, let's make sure I pull those the right length. It really doesn't matter, actually. I'll go ahead and just pull them an arbitrary length a little bit too far on purpose. Bringing back the rest of the model, I need to take the outside surfaces I made and start to pull on them. And what happens is that they're going to uh, encroach on the space where the inner surfaces are. And, you know, to play it safe, I want to make sure that my boundaries of that solid body, of the outside body, do extend beyond the bottom face of how far I need to uh, drop down for the EDM tool. All right, now it's time to merge all this together into one solid body and that's done with the combine tool. I take the solid and the surface and merge it into one. Now you see that there's some excess or extra faces all around the model. Most of this can be simplified just by using the fill tool, grabbing the extra faces I don't want and filling them in. Remember I pulled the bottom face down a little bit just to make sure I had some excess? Well the split body tool will take care of that and knock out those little bottom pedestals. One last face I need to click on in, with respect to the split body tool to get rid of all that excess and I'm just about done. I've created the EDM tool however it does not have any offset on it and maybe you want five thousandths, eight, ten thousandths, it doesn't matter, it's very simple to do. In order to select all those faces on the inside there's a couple different selection techniques one of them might be to double click and try to get as many tangent faces as possible and that looks like it's working well for me. Uh, just a couple double clicks and single clicks and I have everything on the outside selected. We'll go ahead and dynamically start to pull on the faces and we'll, we'll call it a very uh, generous offset of ten thousandths just so you can see the effect. Notice I purposefully did not select the two bottom faces because those are perpendicular to the direction in which my EDM tool drops down. And if there was any doubt as to any other faces that would be perpendicular, I could always run a draft analysis on the entire model and select the draft angle, or the, the pull direction, I'm sorry, and find out which faces uh, meet that criteria or not. All right, so that's the model. It has an offset of 10 thousandths. We'll go ahead and copy this back to uh, the clipboard. Going to the original model and pasting it, you'll get a good idea of where those surfaces fit. And you'll see a small, small offset. Uh, maybe what I'll do is hide this face that's in the way. And so you can see the offset now, and we'll change the color of that solid actually. Maybe make it orange make it even easier to see the 10,000s offset uh, along all the faces, along with 
the quarter inch offset on the outside as well so there's enough material to grab that tool and facilitate any uh, necessary movement for the sinker EDM tool. So that's how easy it is to make an EDM tool in SpaceClaim. Thank you very much for watching.